Hey Snap Pickleball players, this is Coach Kathy Palacy. And this week I posted something about um, why you might be a second too late. And a lot of people had thumbs up and liked it and some people shared it, which was awesome. Thank you very much. Um, but for our YouTube channel, I'm gonna go ahead and do this video with that basically the same information with a little bit more stuff added to it, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna read this off the Facebook post. Have you ever wondered why you're just a second too late? Let's think about this for a second. Many beginners and intermediate players admire their shots after they make them. They place that perfect drop shot, admire it, and then start to move. Or this happens. They serve the ball and it's too short. They reprimand themselves and then aren't in position for their next shot. Aw, snap! Does that sound like something you have done? Yeah, me too. Here's the good news. As you progress along your pickleball journey, you stop doing that, and here's why. Advanced players know that the second it takes to admire your shot and to reprimand yourself is the second you are too late for your next shot. You're not in the proper court position. So our snap tip, after every shot, bring your paddle back up to ready, relax your grip, and breathe. Move to the correct court position, and we'll be covering that. We have covered that. Um, that bad shot you made, that's over. It's done with. It's the history. It's not the present. You can't get it back. Let it go. Don't beat yourself up over it. Don't let it affect your next shot by not being ready. You got to get ready. What happens if you're caught admiring or reprimanding? That second it takes to admire and reprimand makes you late for your next shot. You are moving, you're reaching, or you're late on your swing. You pop the ball up, or your shot might go out, or into the net. Either way, it's not a good thing for your team. Bottom line, make your shot and snap to it in order to be ready and in the right place for your next shot. Seconds do count. Pause and reprimand after a shot takes the second that your team can't afford. Paddle up, play the snap way, smart, nimble, and purposeful. The other thing I want to add to this, that was basically it. The other thing I want to add to this is <clears throat> pay attention to your own game, okay? Don't worry about your partner's game. Don't worry about unforced errors of your partners because you can't control that. And if you're focusing on something that your partner just did, what are you doing? You're living in the past. Then you're not focused and ready for the present, right? Because your brain is still processing what just happened and you're not ready for the present. What's going to happen? And you're not prepared for what might happen in the future. So let that stuff go. Let your partner worry about their game. You worry about your own. You make sure that you're focused in, you're zeroed in. If they make an unforced error, generally the rally's over, right? Don't let it affect your next play. Um, the other thing to think about and to remember is, especially when I'm watching the pros, I'm like, whoa, here's pros. They're getting paid, they're sponsored players, and yet they still make unforced errors. So if you're playing against a level up player, don't go around thinking they're not gonna make unforced errors because they are. That's what we do. We're not perfect. None of us are perfect. We're just out there having a good time, improving our game, and trying to have, you know, do community with it, socialize with it. So anyway, hope that helps you guys out. Um, gonna post this on YouTube and then also on our website. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please go ahead and email me, snappickleball at gmail.com. If you have any, anything that you want to see on a video, um, if, you have, um, if you have just like a, a shot that's giving you troubles and you want to videotape that and send it to me, do that and I can go ahead and tell you how to tweak it, okay? Um, a lot of these things are just really easy. And, and um, if you continue, oh, 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 one more thing, I forgot. A lot of times we get suckered into playing our opponent's game, okay? 
If you are playing against hard hitters, what do you want to do? You want to incorporate a soft game, okay? If you can incorporate the soft game against hard hitters, then that's probably going to make them do unforced errors, right? Because that's not their comfort zone. Remember, smart means to make your opponents move, to make them uncomfortable, so and to strategize. So if they're naturally hard-hitting players, soften it up. Slow down that pace. Take the pace off, their timing's going to be off, right? So then get them into those, the, the plays. We have those plays for a purpose. As soon as you start using, start getting into a dink rally, incorporate your patient builder play, okay? As soon as that ball pops up a little bit, then go ahead and do your V uh, punch volley drill. Okay, you can get it back down, reset it, and start back at your patient builder drill. So I think we forget because we go back to our old habits, and I want you to, to move forward. Don't go back. Move forward. Incorporate those plays we're learning. All right? You guys have a great day. Um, let's see. Smart pickleball. Nope, snap pickleball. Not smart. Snap. Smart, nimble, and purposeful. We have our YouTube channel our Facebook group page, and we have a website. So give us a, give us a shout out and have a great day. Bye.